Hello and welcome back to Lawsford Farm and uh, Farming Simulator 17. This is uh, video two of my uh, gameplay and just got to set up the course play for um, field 31 from between game saves so, because it loses them. Uh, hopefully I'll get it set up the same and it can carry on from where it is and I can go off and do other stuff. So in this I've uh, well I'll get it out in a minute in this one I'm gonna move on to another field I'm gonna harvest a, another field um, hopefully the sugar beets are ready so that I can get some sugar beets for the pigs uh, which I'm hoping are doing quite well sorry for the quality of the video it's a bit dark because most of this is during the night but while i'm harvesting that i will try and well i will speed it up um and hopefully we'll get back into day time reasonably soon um just setting up the head rows and there we go and we can get that one going um, no, I'm taking those out. I don't know why I'm taking those out. It's probably going to cause me some problems, but hopefully not. So, anyway, while I'm setting that up and getting that going, um, like I say, I won't, once I've done this, I'll check check the field statuses. Hopefully, the sugar beets will be ready. We go off and do that, get that done, and then from there, I can either, um, if that one's ready, the rest of the fields would probably be ready to. Um, harvest so then it's taking taking a view on whether we're going to do the uh, canola the corn or the wheat which I'm probably thinking um, well I don't know I don't know we'll we'll sort that out when we come to it what we could do put a few more oh I've got all the working lights on that's probably because I'm zoomed out quite a way but that is it's quite very dark Ho hopefully it won't come out so bad on a video but that's that going and is he going? Yep. So there we go. Let's quick check on the fields. And uh, we know it. Yeah. Remove tops. Yep. So it's ready. And all the other fields are ready for harvest as well now. So basically, I'm not restricted on what. Some of them were still in growing. So I'm going to take this back there. I I take it back to normal play because if I'm using a helper, if you're on it on 120, the day passes quicker. The job doesn't get done any quicker, actually, in game time. Um, just time in the game passes quicker, and I'm going to be paying a worker a lot more money because you're paying on a daily rate. So put it back to real time. I know I haven't got withering on and that sort of thing, but I'm hopefully saving a bit of money on the hired workers because even on course play you pay for a hired, hired worker um, so anyway uh, we're going to take the JCB and we're going to pick up all the um, pick up the machinery for topping and collecting the sugar beets uh, as it's only a small field hopefully it shouldn't take that long and probably won't be very many trailers hopefully two maybe three um, the pigs don't need a lot. They need like 5% of their food. Um, root veg is, is 5%. But there's no point selling it because there's not a lot of money in it. So I might as well just keep, keep hold of it. Because as I get more pigs, they're going to want more anyway. So, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. So, anyway, I'm going to now... As you give me, I can, you know what I'm doing. I'm off. I'm going to do the sugar beets. I'm going to fast forward time until we get to the next bit. Um, or this is going to end up being a very long, boring video. Very dark by the looks of it. Hopefully it will brighten up a bit as it gets a bit more you know, It's only quarter to twelve in game. Probably going to take a while uh, as we've gone back to real time. Um, so, yeah, leave, leave, I'll leave you with that. And we'll be back shortly, hopefully, when uh, the sugar beets are all harvested. Um, just got to get through this nice tight gate. Um, what am I doing now? What am I quickly checking? Yeah, I'm looking for the quick route, which is that's the main route there. I could have actually gone through the gate that was there and gone up between the fields and around that way. Um, I did notice that afterwards, but this was, I thought, the most main route up in, just straight up in. So, anyway, I'm going to uh, time lapse this next bit and uh, I'll be back shortly.
Right, we're back. Um, I was going to set up course play, and uh, I couldn't get it to work properly, and in the end I um, started doing it myself, doing the headlands. Um, I've had to go and get a trailer because it's now full. It's a very small trailer, um, the capacity is not very big. Um, but it's what we started with, and it's it's a bit f it's free. Um, well, it's not. It, it costs us maintenance, but it's it's not going to cost us. I think the big machines I think fifty-four thousand. So um, this is a very underpowered tractor. It's struggling with an empty trailer. When we get a load of sugar beets in there, that is going to be very slow. However, that's going to be the same speed, and it's just a slow tractor. So anyway, we're off to the sugar beet field, which is field 30. Uh, we're going to empty the first load of sugar beets, which is probably going to be, I don't know, probably about a quarter of a trailer or something like that. I'm not too sure. But um, it's going to take a few loads from this into this trailer. I know it's not a massive trailer, but it's a it's big enough. So um, I think, well, depending on how much we're getting here, they'll to let us know how many loads we'll have. But I reckon it might be three trailer loads because it's not a very big trailer, but it's not a very big field. So uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So that's giving you the lowdown of what's happening, and uh, I'll give it another quick speed up while we uh, unload and carry on doing the beats. Right, we're back and we're just doing our last offload for our first trailer load of sugar beets. Um, I didn't bother um, speeding it up, I just thought it, it would be better to um, just um, cut cut that bit out. It's just driving up and down in the dark with a bit of light, can't really see a lot. But um, I think we're roughly about <coughs> halfway through the field, so it's only going to be two trailer loads which is not a problem more than enough than I need for the pigs so um, yeah uh, and I'm having trouble by why is it still there? it should have been a bit further on by now oh well we'll have a look at that in a bit so we're going to go off feed a bit to the pigs because that's what they're, they're lacking at the moment is um, sugar beets or root veg and then I need to find somewhere on the farm to unload uh, whether I'm going to take over one of the vehicle sheds and start using it for storage of um, crop that can't go in the silos, I haven't decided yet. I'm sure I'll find somewhere. So anyway, we're going to give a bit to the pigs, which um, are up late. <laughs> it's just gone midnight and they're still up eating. Um, so yeah, we'll give them a little bit of uh, root veg. That's what it is. It'll be done. Look at that. Wow, <laughs> didn't take a lot, did they? So well, now we've got to find somewhere to unload it. What am I checking? Oh, there we go. Yeah, look, sugar beets right up. I need to top up everything else, water and not drastically, 98% productivity. Oh, we've got two extra cows already. Uh, cows, pigs. I bought 10, now I've got 12. I'm doing all right. I've got 1,100 liquid manure and got some um, solid manure so it's coming on it's doing all right we're uh, we'll leave that go um, the more pigs we've got the quicker it's going to uh, give us manure which is going to be free and saves us having to go and buy fertilizer so we'll have all our own solid and liquid so yeah I'm going to go off and find somewhere to dump the beets um, so I'm just going to probably speed this little bit up while I find somewhere to um, dump the beets and then we'll go back to carry on harvesting the rest of the field so um, speak to you in a bit Right, just to let you know what I've what I did, I come up. I was going to dump them in the shed that the machinery come out of for the root veg, and I thought, well, then I've got nowhere to park that afterwards, and that's a nice little shed out of the way. So there's a little alcove around the back between the harvester shed and the the beets machinery shed, um, and I thought, well, I'll stick them there. So I've I've put them there, and now we're on the way back to uh, field thirty to finish off 
Um, the beets harvesting. Um, I think I'm going to need to sort out this um, tractor that's ploughing this field because he, he seems to be doing the same bit over and over again. Um, I'll have a look at if I if I have to sort him out. I'll stop and show you what I'm what I do. So we're we're back to doing the beets harvesting, um, and hopefully we can move on to something else once it's done. Like I say, we're, we've only got the centre section of the field left to do. We'll take the last little bits out of here because there was still some in there even though we've got a full trailer so um we'll speak to you in a bit when we're uh, on the next exciting part or the next the next thing that comes up that i have to try and sort out so speak to you in a bit right field harvested this is the last offload um into the trailer i don't think it's going to be a full trailer but nearly there so yeah just under two trailer loads that's field 30 done, all the beets done, so anything small that I don't need a large quantity of, um, field 30 is a good one. Either that, or I try and link it to another field, um, could add it to field uh, so 29 that's next to it, this one here. Um, but yeah, that's that done, we're going to take the machinery back, put it back in the shed, and then move on to the next job, which... Um, I will we'll have a look see which what's the next field we need to harvest so we're on our way back to the farm uh, I think uh, I'm going to struggle to get my in it's a little bit tight back up there and it's, it's very quite, it must be very hard for you to see I'm really sorry about this because it's quite dark um, I need to have a look at this um, I need to lighten it up somehow um, but yeah, right, we're on our way back. We're going to pop this up in the shed. Uh, I'm going to speed it up a little bit until we get on to the next bit. Oh, there's a bit of a crash collision there. Just caught the, the plants on the side, which are well, the fence. So, got to put this in the shed and then we get the other tractor with the trailer back, unload the rest of that with the rest of the beach around the back, and then move on to the next job. So, um, speak to you in a bit when we're deciding what field to do next. Right, uh, that's all parked up, and now I'm going to try and sort out the um, tractor and the plough on field 31, because he still seems to be doing the same bit. I think I've put him on the wrong end of the course. Where I've had to redo the course, it started at this end, and it's actually started at the far end in the top corner. So I'm going to have to take him all the way up there, and hopefully start him up that end uh, and hopefully that will sort sort out the problem I've got he keeps going up and down the same bit so I've been paying him to plow the same bit of field over and over again which is a bit annoying but I didn't look at the start and finish point and because I've taken the head head rows off um, the route um, it's a different route so we're getting back up here and we'll start him here and hopefully that will um, sort the problem out and we can crack on with something else so we'll bring this trailer back we'll empty this out and then we'll uh, I, th I think I'm going to go with the field of corn uh, well I'm, de I'm definitely going to do the corn that's the next field I'm going to harvest but I might get a, but I need to look at start planting as well I've got two fields that are cultivated that, that are ready for planting so I've got to show what I'm going to plant on them probably going to be canola or soya bean something like that something that's, that pays quite well because I need to make some money quite quickly because I'm, I'm desperately low um, and I want to buy a bigger plough or I want to buy a better plough um, the, the plough is fine and it comes with it and it, it's wide enough but there are other ploughs that are easier um, I might end up having to plough that field myself if the course play doesn't sort itself out oh look I left the lights on the tractor and the battery flat um, got to turn them off right here we go and we'll unload the rest of this or dump it <laughs> unload the rest of this uh, with the rest at the back of the shed so now we know exactly where the beats are I can just come and get a bucket load every so often because I 
because it's only 5%, I don't think I'm going to need to use a trailer. So I could invest in a slightly bigger bucket and then just come up, get a bucket of beets, come down, chuck it in there because it's not that far from the from the pigs. So yeah, that's all good. So uh, yeah, we're um, cooking on gas at the moment. Let's uh, try and get ourselves um, a bit of money. Might have to sell, I might have to look at the crop and have a look and, s and sell some. Um, I do want to get a better plough. Um, everything else seems to be alright, but I probably could do with buying a larger trailer for selling. It's a big enough trailer, but if I get a lot of crop and there's a good sale, I want to sell in bulk. I don't want to have to run twice because you'll get a good price on the first one, but not as good a price on the second one, purely because the price would have gone because you sold some. And I'll hit the wrong button there and I've dropped my front loader. Pain. And I've dropped the trailer and I'm not going to get it on because the bucket's on and the legs don't come down. I think I'm going to have to reset the bucket. If I remember rightly on this map, they reset in front of the harvester shed. Stop messing around and just reset the bucket. So, there we go. Yes. Let's find the bucket, reset that, and then we can put the front loader back on. And a bucket back on. There we go. Reset. Boom. Job done. So, back up. There we go. Front loader back on. And there's the bucket just over there. We're going to pick the bucket up. So, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We need to. I'm. Sh yeah. I'm going to do the corn. I think I'm going to take the combine up there with the corn header, get that ready. Um, but I don't know where I'm going to seed. I think it'll be field 27 I'll seed first. It's quite a square field. There's a little bit of a cut around the, the sheds here. Um, but other than that, but it'd be worth just to get. Well, actually, probably worth to get the combine up to up the field. Start it. Start it harvesting. Combining. That's a really bad word. Start harvesting, and then I can get on to start seeding the other field and try and get things going at the same time. So, yeah, I think that's going to be the plan of action, if I remember rightly. Uh, where am I going? Where am I running off to? What am I doing? What am I doing? I am... Ah, checking the manure. I thought I had a, yeah, I got a muck spreading trailer, so, yeah. I should have just looked through the kit, but there you go. I have a run around the farm in the dark. should be using my torch. Might be able to see what you're doing then. Do I want that? No, don't want that one, because that means you've got to drop the cedar or the fertilizer. Um, check back in the JCB. It's a good all round little tractor, this. I like this JCB. It's brilliant. It's, it's almost like a, a tractor unit. As in a truck tractor unit and not a tractor. Um, yeah, it's uh, it is well balanced with the cab right in the middle. Um, I like it. It's good. All right, we're going to put this down where the pigs are. We can start putting some liquid fertilizer in it. I don't think we're going to fill it because we've only got about 11, 1100 liters of silage. So we'll drop that in there and start filling that and see how much that gives us. I'm sure it's only 11. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Roughly. Why am I going back? We should just, oh, we're just looking to see how much it's selling for. And yeah, it's not going for a lot at the moment. But um, yeah, we might have to look at doing sheep, getting some sheep in as well, because wool really does. You get some wool, and that really just rockets it. And sheep are so easy. It's just grass and water. So I still don't know what them end ones are, the the one with this little star over it. I need to try and find out. That's silage. And then we've got my bales. But I don't know what the two... I mean, I don't know. Is it chaff? Is that chaff? I don't know if it's chaff or not. Um, I'm sure we'll find out. Uh, but I don't know what those are. I've got to find out what those are. Okay. Right.
that's fill the yeah I'm trying to find out if it shows you what they are but I don't think it does it just gives you the basic basic crops yeah not on there okay right let's fill up the I should, should know now shouldn't I the amount of time I've, but I've never done that I've not had to deal with that yet so well fill that up oh blimey hell it's about an eighth so that's going to hold nearly 9,000 litres don't know let's have a look see what that does anyway so we've got to sort out I think we're going to get the combine down to field 29 and sort out some stuff for field 27 so while we run around with that uh, in the messy start her up let's get some lights on get some lights let's see Do I? No, 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 no. I'm gonna do. Or do I do? I think I do the canola food first, actually. Thinking about it, and not the corn. Cannot remember now. Cannot remember what I did first. Yeah, I'm picking up the uh, the header. I I do. I um, think I start the canola actually. So anyway, um, I'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna do a little bit of uh, a time lapse through and then we'll get back to where we are right just cut out a little bit of the journey down there and and hitching up the header um we set up the course play it is field 29 and it is canola so i've set up a course play with uh, a double head row uh, so hopefully i'll have no problems with the combine um hitting stuff still having problem with this um, plow um, I, don't, I don't know what I've done it is all over the place uh, I will sort him I'm, I'm gonna probably end up doing myself so anyway while that's uh, while we mess around with this because he's all the way over the wrong side again I don't, I don't know how they do it I don't know what's gone on and I don't know why we keep doing what they're doing but yeah, it's it's definitely uh, I I've, I need to get rid of the route and start a new route on that. So anyway, I'm gonna jump ahead again um, and um, we'll see where we get. I've got to get a trailer down to fill 29 to empty the harvester when it gets full. Don't know how how quick it will take to fill it um don't know what the see the yields aren't going to be brilliant on this because they're not not plowed and i don't think they're um they will have been cut they've got been cultivated or you can't see i don't think you can see them but they've not been plowed i don't know if they've been i don't think any of them have been th fertilized so they're just basic um yield on them which is all free money anyway because it was already pre-planted so yeah we're gonna I'm going to time lapse it forward a bit while I try and sort out this, this plough man and then I've got to sort out getting the trailer down to field 29 so I'm probably going to do a little bit of um, uh, time lapse or I may just sort of cut cut it out and then cut back to where I've sorted it so uh, I'll speak to you in a bit right we're back again and uh i think i've sorted out the plow man i've uh, got him to the right end hopefully got him on the right route he did get caught on a fence um and i think that might be where there's no head rows where i've done a route without them 
but we'll wait and see but he seems to be going up and down not too bad I've brought the Land Rover up to pick up the header trailer because I think that's going to be easier for towing it to and fro and I've brought up the um, tractor with the trailer ready to empty the harvester when it's full um, I'm probably going to get quite a bit in the harvester I don't seem to get I don't think I'm going to get a very high yield on this one um, it's done a couple of head rows and he's still going um, he's not full yet he's just over half so um, I'm gonna time lapse this bit or right, actually I'll probably just um, cut cut it through to when we get near the end or um, unless I start setting up to seed one of the other fields so uh, be back in a second right hello um, skipped a bit of time there um, I've sorted out the combine I've done an offload already and uh, had a few more problems with the plowing of the field so had to redo another route with a couple of head rows to hopefully stop uh, the tractor getting caught on the fence <coughs> oh excuse me um, and now what I've done is I've got a trailer up or a tractor up with the seeding trailer for field 27 and I've set up a course as you can see here uh, we're going to do canola He's doing, uh, I think he's doing one head row, and then he's going to run up and down. I've brought, because this is only a seeder, um, I've brought down the other tractor with the skinny wheels, with the uh, fertilizer on the back. I probably will in the time being, because I don't have crop destruction. I might change them to normal wheels, but hey ho, I might put crop destruction back on when I get used to it and at the moment I'm trying to make money so if I can get away with not destroying my crops it would be better um, it looks like we've finished um, well the course play route's done now we've just got to go around and tidy up the field on 29 um, and then offload that into the trailer it's not so that field didn't from Canola didn't even give me one trailer though so that's a very small field um, for that wise but then again if I connect that to field 30 could do couldn't I connect to give a mate one one field actually you could f connect 20 to 9 or 30 to give a mate one big decent field we'll look at that later um, at the moment we're just picking up the last little bits um, and then we'll leave this field uh, and for ploughing once <laughs> Once I sorted out the bloke plowing field 31, I think by that time I will have decided to just go ahead and sell that and get a better plow. Um, not, not that that's not a good plow, I just, I'm, I'm not keen on that plow. There are, you'll see the plow I want, I'll show you, um, or you'll see it when I buy it. So anyway, that's this field done and then I think I'm going to get him set up to do the corn. Because I want the corn done, we'll get the corn and get that in storage, um, and then we're left with the two wheat fields, which will harvest probably one after the other, and then it's probably going to be that there'll be a lot of cutting out on that one because it'll be the same two fields together, um, but it'll be uh, harvesting and then baling and then selling the bales, and uh, hopefully get a fair bit of money from selling the bales and then I'm going to convert them I think all to either soybean or canola which seem to be uh, good money makers at the moment we'll get all them so they're ready to harvest we can harvest a lot we'll buy one big trailer that I can hopefully load up the whole lot on in one trailer and then um, sell it all and make some money and be able to move on to either buying a couple more fields or slightly bigger equipment so we can do the job slightly quicker so we're going to take this header back and I'm going to have to combine again to go back as well to pick up the corn header because there's no trailer for the corn header. So um, I'm going to quick time lapse this to get this bit sorted uh, where I'm sorting out all these bits of equipment here and we'll come back when we're looking at getting on to the next field. So we'll speak to you in a minute.
Right, welcome back. This is going to be the last little bit of the video. Just going to set the combine up on field 28 to um, harvest the corn. And then we'll call that quits for this video. Uh, I've done a lot of cutting out and, and spinning forward because it's dark. So it, it's try and keep it short. Hopefully the next video it will be a little bit lighter. It's only half one in the morning, so the other one may be still dark as well. But um, yeah, I'm I've got stuff down at field 27, starting to seed that one, and uh, hopefully I've got the plowman sorted. If not, I'm going to take over and do it myself um, once this corn is all harvested and uh, put in the storage, and then we're just left with the two wheat ones. So thank you for watching. I uh, hope you're enjoying it. Um, come back and see the next one leave me comments like subscribe um, and hopefully see you on uh, video three uh, like I say thank you for watching enjoy and see you soon goodbye